hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is Said. today i'll show you how to download windows 7 service pack 1 only service pack 1 not all windows 7 if you have uh, windows 7 installed on your computer and uh, sometime uh, uh, the software which you want to install on windows 7 they required service pack 1 um, most probably yeah, this uh, type of issue uh, is occur when you install especially AutoCAD 2017 or uh, later uh, it will require Windows 7 so uh, first of all you need to open Google then uh, enter Windows 7 SP1 uh, on the top side here you can see uh, support.microsoft.com its official Microsoft site click on this link okay uh, on the top of site you can see support for Windows 7 ended on January 14 2020 which means Windows 7 is not a uh, longer support from Microsoft but uh, we can download the service pack one from uh, the official Microsoft uh, store so just scroll down this page and uh, scroll down okay this is the uh, link uh, the page link uh, to download uh, windows 7 service pack 1 just click on this link i'll uh, uh, i will put this link on my description so you can uh, 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 download directly from uh, this link so here is Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for Windows 7 uh, 32-bit and this is Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for 64-bit and this server uh, uh, doesn't end or to Service Pack. So uh, I need Windows 7 Service Pack 1 for 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, you just need to click on this uh, download button. Is a two type of link you can see uh, first one is exe file second one msu if you want to make bootable then you need to click or download second one uh, or if you want to uh, just in, uh, download the exe file you just need to click first one so the download has been started i have already have download this uh, uh, service pack one on my computer so download started you just need to copy uh, this file on your uh, USB or flash drive and paste on Windows 7 desktop and, uh, do, uh, uh, do not install directly from USB uh, first of all you need to copy this file on your uh, Windows 7 desktop and then run from uh, the desktop so I hope you like this video thank you very much